Number 10. Elongated Alien Skulls Deep in the mountains of Huancavelica in Peru, a local boy made a shocking discovery. He accidentally stumbled upon a cave of skeletons. But this was unlike any cave of skeletons ever seen before, as the skulls were all elongated and looked as though they came from a race of alien monsters. This terrifying discovery has obviously gathered a whole lot of attention, but unfortunately, these were probably not actual aliens. In reality, the people with elongated skulls had gotten their huge heads from a process called cranial deformation hundreds of years ago. According to Professor Melissa S. Murphy, anthropologists thoroughly checked the skulls found in Peru to determine that everything about them is 100% human. The eye sockets are completely normal, the teeth are the same as ordinary people, and there is nothing different about the bone structure. The reason the skulls are elongated is because their parents deformed them on purpose as children. It was a process of squeezing their heads tightly, either with two pieces of wood or with cloth, until the skull grew upwards in a cone shape. Was it something related to their standing in society? Perhaps only high-ranking families or priests were able to have these cone-shaped heads. Regardless, the real mystery here is why so many of these skulls were discovered in a mysterious cave, almost as if everybody with a weird skull had been dumped there on purpose. Number 9. Unicorn Bones Yes, people have been hunting down evidence of fantastic creatures for centuries, and unicorns are no exception. During medieval times, there was a cave in the Netherlands that was believed to have unicorn bones inside of it. These bones were usually taken from the cave and then sold in pharmacies as a magical cure. But in the 21st century, when researchers went looking for the supposed unicorn bones, they found cave bear bones instead. There were never any unicorns living in the cave. It was all a big medieval sham, but modern researchers did find a strange piece of artwork left behind by Neanderthals. The piece of artwork was found carved into the toe bone of an extinct giant deer. According to the researchers who published their study in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution, the toe bone dates back 51,000 years. This was a time before Homo sapiens had made it into Western Europe, when the Neanderthal still reigned supreme. The artwork consists of a few simple lines carved into the deer's toe, and although extremely simple, it does show evidence that Neanderthals may have had cognitive abilities extremely similar to the human species. In other words, cavemen weren't quite as dull as the professionals once thought. Number 8. Satanic Vikings a mysterious rock-shaped-like boat has been discovered in what some have referred to as a satanic Icelandic cave. According to the experts, this strange rock may have been used by the Vikings in some weird attempt to ward off the apocalypse over a thousand years ago. The discovery was made inside of a cave near an Icelandic volcano that erupted just about 1100 years ago. This was at a time when the Vikings had only recently colonized the island. The rock was carved to look like a boat and was discovered with a small collection of trading goods from the Middle East. Kevin Smith from Brown University says that an eruption would have been extremely unsettling for the new arrivals on the island, likely sparking fear that Ragnarok, or the end of days, was just around the corner. Believing that their world was about to end, the Vikings probably set up a complex ritual in the cave. Using the stone boat and the artifacts from the Middle East as offerings, they would have also burned animals as sacrifices. And the craziest part is that they must have thought the ritual worked, since the end of the world never showed up afterwards. I guess that's how it works with a lot of prophets who predict the apocalypse, but say if people just do one thing, the world will be saved. If people listen to them, then when the world doesn't end, they get to say, I told you so. But if the world does end, well, then they have a much bigger problem than a bunch of people calling them a liar. Number 7. The Oldest Story 
Inside a cave on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, scientists have discovered the oldest story ever told. The story was written on the walls of the cave in the form of an ancient painting, showing a pig and buffalo hunt. The whole thing takes up a section of wall, over 12 feet long. There are tiny brown forms, likely meant to be humans, along with huge drawings of local animal species. Since the painting has been dated back to around 44,000 years, scientists say it is the oldest narrative artwork ever found. It's true that the story isn't that interesting. It's really just a tale of humans hunting pigs and buffalo. But it's important because it shows a pivotal point in human history when we began to tell stories through art. Forget about the Renaissance. The true artistic revolution happened in Indonesia almost 50,000 years ago in the darkness of a damp cave. Number 6. The Headless Murderer a headless body was uncovered in a cave just a few years ago, and it turned out to be a murder suspect from over a century ago. This bizarre story starts in 1916, with a guy named Joseph Henry Loveless. Joseph was in jail in Idaho when he managed to escape by cutting his way out of his cell with a saw that he had hidden in his shoe. Months after his escape, he killed his wife by beating her over the head with an axe, according to a report in the local Idaho newspaper from 1916. Well, Joseph was caught and thrown back in jail. Just weeks later, he used the exact same trick to escape a second time. He then vanished and was never seen again. At least... Not until over a hundred years later, in 1979, when authorities in Idaho were trying to identify a headless man who was found in a cave. Idaho police knew they were dealing with something old, since the body was badly decomposed. But they honestly had no idea who the headless torso belonged to, that in 1991, a girl exploring the same cave system found a mummified hand, and researchers later uncovered one arm and two legs stuffed into a burlap sack. It was clearly the same person. Whoever it was had been cut up and ditched inside the cave. The police just didn't know who the body parts belonged to. Recently, the cops finally used forensic genealogy to try and track down the closest living relative to the dead body. They learned Joseph's identity, making him one of the oldest murder victims ever identified using forensics. But unfortunately, police still don't know who cut this man up and left him headless in the cave. Also, his head has never been found. Number 5. Cave Under the Floorboards a man recently discovered a secret cave underneath the floorboards of his house, dating back to over 50 years. Jake Brown was working on his property in the United Kingdom when he realized one of the walls in his basement didn't quite look right. He drilled a hole through it, peeked inside, and was shocked to see a secret cave hidden behind his wall. It was right there, and he had never even known about it. Naturally, Jake broke down the wall and entered the cave. It was filled with artifacts from the early 1900s. Judging by the newspapers and old junk, the thing had been sealed for at least five decades. It was also surprisingly big, about 15 feet deep and at least 9 feet wide. There were bottles of paint cans and a whole lot of trash. The cave may have been used as a kind of garbage dump for construction workers in the 1950s or 60s. The good news is that Jake now has an extra room in his house. Talk about a man cave. If you suddenly found a new secret room in your house, what would you do with it? Would you make a wine cellar or would you put it in a secret door so you could hide there and win any game of hide and seek? Tell me your ideas in the comments below, then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already for more awesome videos. Number 4 the Spirit Cave Mummy The Spirit Cave Mummy is over 10,000 years old. 10,600 years old to be exact. Discovered in the year 1940 by a pair of archaeologists named George and Sidney Wheeler. The archaeologist couple found the mummy inside a rocky cave in Nevada. There were actually a few mummies inside, one that was only partially preserved and another that was found wrapped in a blanket made of rabbit skin and reed mats, so well preserved that he still had moccasins on his feet. 
At first, the experts thought the mummy was about 1,500 years old. It wasn't until the 1990s, when it was properly dated and revealed to be the oldest mummy ever found in North America. Then, in 1997, a legal battle shook the country because the Native Americans in the Nevada region wanted the mummy for themselves, since, you know, it was one of their own ancestors. But the federal government denied the Native Americans access to the mummy and said basically, finders keepers. It took 20 years and a DNA test for the mummy to finally be handed over to the Paiute Shoshone tribe. The DNA revealed that the skeleton was definitely related to the indigenous people in the area. And finally, the government relinquished control in November of 2016. The Paiute Shoshone then held a new burial ceremony and put the dead guy back into the ground where he belonged. Number 3. The Centipede King there is a deadly centipede king ruling over a poisonous kingdom from the underworld, deep in the forests of Romania. This terrifying centipede was discovered inside the Movila Cave, one of the most toxic places in the world. It's a cave system that hasn't had any access to daylight in nearly 6 million years. It's pitch black inside and filled with dangerous toxins. And within this hellish environment, experts have found a venomous centipede that acts as the top predator. Movila Cave is over 65 feet beneath the surface of the Earth. It's warm, the air is moist, there is almost no oxygen, and the atmosphere is made up of thick, toxic gas. But the toxic gas actually works in favor of the creatures living inside the cave. There are spiders, scorpions, snails, creepy leeches, and basically everything terrifying that you could think of. All these creatures live inside an environment so toxic that it could kill a person within just a handful of seconds if they were to try and breathe the air. As you can probably imagine, it's been difficult for scientists to study the creatures inside the cave. It's dark and they have to breathe using special apparatuses. Yet despite the challenge, researchers have found over 50 species here, with the biggest being the predatory centipede. It measures roughly 2 inches in length and has one of the most toxic bites of any centipede known to man. Number 2. Microbrew Cave Ever wanted to try the oldest beer ever? You're in luck! The very first microbrew ever crafted may have been 13,000 years ago for a funeral. This weird discovery happened inside of a burial cave in Israel, where archaeologists found traces of wheat and barley. Li Liu, a professor at Stanford University, said the presence of wheat and barley in this ancient cave suggests the oldest brewed alcohol in the world. But just who was crafting beer over 10,000 years ago inside of a cave? Experts say it was the Natufians, a culture of Stone Age people who lived from between 15,000 to 11,500 years ago. They established some of the first settlements in history, and scientists say they could be the first people to ever domesticate animals. With this latest discovery, it looks like the Stone Age humans also figured out how to mix wheat and barley to craft beer, which they then drank at funerals, perhaps to lessen the pain of grief. If you ask me, the Stone Age cavemen weren't so primitive after all. Number 1. The First Human Clothes when did humans start wearing clothes? No other animal needs to wear clothing, so why did humans suddenly get bashful? This is a question that scientists have been trying to answer for decades. Now, a discovery in a cave in Morocco may have just revealed the very first time the humans put on clothing. One of the biggest issues with trying to solve the mystery is that organic materials don't preserve well. After just a few years, most organic things like leather or fur are already decomposed. However, researchers looking at 62 bone tools found in the Moroccan cave dated back to around 120,000 years ago have found a different way to answer the question. 
These mysterious stone tools appear to have been used in the processing of animal skins. In other words, they may have been the tools used by primitive human ancestors to create the earliest clothing ever. We don't know what these clothes look like, if they were making loincloths out of furs or what, but this is the earliest evidence of clothing manufacturing ever. Which of these bizarre cave discoveries was your favorite? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching! If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all the best videos from Tall Tannic.